Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, it's Jeremiah Emanuel, aka Wyatt Derp, and I wanted to make a uh, quick video for uh, Nico in the Giant Babes group. Um, he'd asked about using uh, Japanese cotton uh, as a wick and how exactly to roll it, and just so happens I was about to change out the wick on my uh, atomizer so I can drip a different flavor, so I thought, why not make a quick video? Now, one thing I want to start off with is when you get these sheets of the Japanese cotton, one thing that's really hard to tell on videos is scale. Um, just because something may look completely huge or small. I know with coil building videos, it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes because you don't know how big these things are. So for scale, uh, here's one full sheet of Japanese cotton. And here's a uh, giant vapes, you know, business card, magnet, whatever. So you can see it's not even the size of the full magnet. But th that's about where it's at. So that's how big your sheet's going to be. And this is enough for quite a few wicks, but I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. All right. So what I'm working with here is I've just got some nerdy little coil here. It's just a single coil. Uh, 26 gauge, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, it's coming in at about 0.6 ohms. Not as low as some of you guys, but uh, I flavor chase. I don't cloud chase so much. So you can see it's still kind of juicy from the juice in here. And I'm going to be using the exact same one, but I just wanted to show how to do this wick real quick. All right. So what you're going to do first off is you're going to take your sheet. You're going to find the segment in the middle and you're going to pull it in half. That way whatever you put inside of your atomizer is going to be nice and fluffy because the difference between regular cotton and this Japanese cotton, you don't want it super compressed. You want it nice and fluffy. That's the best way it's going to wick because this is a fibrous cotton, not like, you know, generic cotton balls, just a bunch of shit all jammed together or whatever. Pardon my French. All right, so anyways, uh my uh, coil here is not super wide. Uh, I believe I wrapped this one around a 332 uh, drill bit. If this will focus, my camera sucks. Anyways, it won't. Uh, okay, so the easiest way to do this, just take your sheet and just pull off a little segment. Don't pull too hard. Just keep it just like that. So you've got some fiber going. Like I said, you want to keep it nice and light. You don't want to super compress that. And I just, you know, work it a little bit so that way I've got it a little flattened. Now, the easiest way to do this is just twist one end while holding the other one firm so that way you don't have uh, it, you know, you don't end up rolling your whole wick. Because you can see here. All this is still fluffy, and the middle of this is what's going into my coil. This, this part right here is enough so I can thread it on through. So, uh, what you're going to do, push right on through, and you'll see that went through kind of easily. And with this cotton, like I said, you want to keep it fibrous, uh, and you don't want to compress it. So what I do is I gently pull through about halfway. And at this point, you can see it's nice and fluffy. Quite a bit of cotton still here, but uh, it's not going to be all smashed. It's going to wick beautifully. So let me grab my scissors here. Now, another thing you see is a lot of people are like, oh, I can't get a vapor because of cotton. Some people are using way too much cotton. I mean, you're trying to just get a coil wet. You're not trying to you know, sop up the Grand Dam here, so I'm just going to snip this. Uh, this piece hanging out is maybe an inch. I'm going to cut it down to where there's maybe a fourth left. That's all I want. Because that's just enough to touch the bottom of the uh, deck there and give me some good wicking action. Other side's about an inch, uh, inch as well, but this longer side I go ahead and leave it half inch. Okay? So, still nice and fluffy. Perfect for what we're going to be using it for, which is vaping. Now, just take a little screwdriver. Gently push this underneath to where it's touching the deck. 
Same with this side here. And that's all you don't. That's all you want. You don't want to smash the crap out of it, or you're not going to get uh, good juice channeling there. Now, one other thing I want to point out, just because it's helpful for me, is like I said before, some people put way too much cotton in here, and they have trouble uh, getting it to wick properly or tasting burnt because there's not any airflow. If you notice right here, I can get my screwdriver underneath the coil and there's nothing there. No cotton underneath. You're making this like, uh, you're making a juice system here. It starts, travels through, travels through, gets to the middle. So keep that bad boy clear of cotton underneath and you'll be right as rain. So, alright. That's about it. I hope that helps, uh, Nico. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I mean, there are tons of YouTube videos out there that could help you, as somebody else mentioned. But it's Giant Vapes Group. And, you know, I love you guys. I like helping. And it's been a long time since I've made any kind of video. Um, but when I have time, uh, if there's a video question or something that might just be answered better that way, I'll be happy to throw it up. So, alright guys. Have a great day out there. It's Tuesday. Get at it. Let's make our week great. And I'll say bye-bye. Peace out.